Hi, hi, good people. Uh, I'm sure you are very well. <laughs> Another video. This is more hilarious. So at least I will not add uh, on a sad note. So today, the, on this one, I'm a happy man. But I'm a happy man, and um, then it is men on the, on the cross. <laughs> we are on the receiving end. Let's watch this together. Can you name it's about your daughter's teacher? This is Jones. Nope. This is more. It's not more? No. Nope. I was my elementary school teacher. <laughs> can you name their teachers? Of course I cannot. What are your daughter's birthdays? Ah, uh, why do you do this to me? What about her? I give up. Any guesses? Yesterday. Oh yeah, yesterday! <laughs> Horrible. Her birthday was yesterday. Just you yesterday. forgot. No. <laughs> I'm laughing because this video is so true. So, so true. I think just a week ago I was in a setup where I had parents in a high school setup. Eh? And I was asking simple questions. And true to the word, it is simple questions that some of our parents cannot even answer. There are those that mothers would not even think about. They know them at their fingertips. But our, our dads out there, dear men, uh, here we are rightfully accused. And I think we are guilty as charged. Not able to know the birthday of your son or daughter? That is not funny. <laughs> that is not funny. It is good to know. Even the name of their friends. Well, as, to some extent, I don't blame you, but it depends on maybe the atmosphere you have set for your children. But it is not right that you don't know the name of the teachers, or the, t the teachers of your son or daughter. You don't know their birthday. You don't know their best music, their best food, their friends. You don't know anything. Of, nothing. That is not right. That is not right. I want to say thank you to all the gracious mothers out there who have taken time to know those small details. Always know the names, manners, temperaments, and behaviors of the friends of your children. Because you may be a very good mother, you may be a very good dad, but your son, your daughter, is moving around with corrupted friends. So when you know them, you are able to guide your child very easily. When you know the type of music your son listens to, if you know the types of films that your daughter consumes, then you are able to guide them. And also you are also able to know the line they take in terms of social issues. It is important. Knowing some small details about your child gives them a sense of security and satisfaction. When you don't know anything for them, they take it as neglect. Not just, you may call it don't care attitude. No. Children decode things differently. I have said that if a father dies, a child system does not decode death. The system of a child decodes neglect. Dad has died so that he does not uh, bring me up. So that is why some of these small, small things that we do and they look hilarious, they may have some repercussion to our children. We may talk about them on a lighter note and we are happy about them, you know, this happened on the other one. But at the end of the day, uh, it is not so right. Dear dads, uh, up your game. Up your game. Know a few things. Ask around. Uh, ask. Just ask. Many are too boring.